The campaign began on Monday, June 11th, when a mysterious entity calling himself Adjutant Reflex hacked the forums on Bungie.net. This single post sent a ripple through the Halo and gaming communities. After several more enigmatic messages, on June 14th, Halo fans received a cryptic email telling them to look for the signs and noting that a journey must commence. Hidden on the email was the same icon seen on Adjutant Reflex's avatar. Later that night, the next clue was discovered. Small ads in the weekly circulars for Best Buy and Circuit City, containing the now familiar glyph and pointing users to an online comic. The comic, for the first time ever, told the story of how a forerunner structure was built on Earth. Hidden in the final panels was the iris glyph. The following day, teams of people were spotted in major cities around the world, carrying signs and passing out flyers bearing the same glyph. These people claim to be from an organization called the Society of the Ancients. Their core belief? That aliens have visited Earth in the distant past and given humanity evolutionary bumps. Both websites contained the same IP address, which led users to the first of five Forerunner servers. Here, they discovered a video time capsule and data log, detailing the final moments before the halos were originally activated thousands of years ago. Meanwhile, Adjutant Reflex resurfaced, this time warning users of a new, more powerful entity. But soon, he was terminated, his messages deleted. The game had begun. Over 400,000 users visited Server 1, and traffic to Halo3.com more than tripled. Forums on Bungie.net and major fan sites came alive. The events of Episode 1 were covered on every major gaming site, as well as several major news publications. 